welcome back to my channel magnolia budgets or if you're new hello welcome i am so glad to have you here today we do all things cash stuffing budget planning saving challenges and honestly just all things dealing with money and of course we come here to chat so you guys for today's video i am going to be stuffing my cash envelopes and sinking funds so let's go ahead and count and see how much money we're going to be stuffing today all right so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20. So 120, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So 149 dollars. Y'all do know I am a low income budgeter. I'm a teacher for a living. So I stuff what I have after I leave what I need on my card for my bills. So let's go ahead and get right into the cash stuffing. Alright besties, so this week we're going to be stuffing $262. It was like $5 more than the usual amount. I'm not really sure why that is, but this is what we're going to be stuffing this week. So let's go ahead and get right into my cash envelopes. I'm sorry if y'all can hear my washer. Um, I'm washing clothes. Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And um, I needed to get some stuff done around the house. Like I have been really productive y'all. So, I have gotten up. I didn't want to get up. I didn't want to get up. I wanted to lay in bed. I did lay in bed for a couple hours. I laid in bed till about almost 9 o'clock. And I washed my hair. I finally did a wash and go that I think I love. And so, I'm using the Design Essentials Mousse and i use the aunt jackie's like gel i love it i have never been able to um like wear my hair in a wash and go style i'm still not sure if i'll be able to because you know once your hair sh you know dries it shrinks up a good amount so we'll see i'm hoping i love it i really think that i found a like some products that i like for a wash and go so i think they're still six dollars in miscellaneous Self-care did get $20. I did go and get my nails done. And if you've been around for a while, then you already know I have, I have had this set before. And I just absolutely love it. Like, I had to get it again. I don't know. It's just something about it that just... I don't know. It's definitely giving me soft girl era. <laughs> I love it. I'm definitely trying to be in my soft girl era. Um, I don't know. It's just number one i'm just trying to get my life together and find myself so let's see this is for babies is going to get 17. so 15 16 17 like i'm definitely you know like i said i want this year to be my last year working and so i'm wanting to work on my business i want to do this full time because this is what i love to do and I'm going to be a wife this year. Like, what? <laughs> so, I'm going to be a wife. Like, I'm hoping we can just start our family. And if we have a child or when we have a child, um, I want to be able to stay at home with them and take care of them. So, I'm definitely trying to get in my soft girl era, okay? Take care of the house and work from home, you know? be dependent on my man but the thing is is i don't know what it is as us as women or especially me as a black woman i feel like we tend to be very independent we don't like to be dependent on a man and so even if we do stay home it's like we still have to have like that backup plan you know we still have that what if in the back of our heads and we're like, nah, I still need money, like my own money to fall back on just in case it doesn't work. I'm not speaking that into my life. It is going to work. But I still like to have my own money. And so I'm still going to, you know, so that's why I'm going to, you know, still work, but do something that I love. I love teaching, but I think this is that season is going to end this year. I hope, fingers crossed, God willing, if that's in his plan for me. All right, so for babies, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. So 123 in fur babies. 
so i'll probably take my older my my oldest dog to go to the vet and get groomed and everything just because she's older so she needs a little bit more you know care so i probably will take her and the other ones will probably wait so this $50, I do have money in here already that I spent. So this is my fiance's $50 that we spent yesterday. Um, we decided to just do like Popeyes because it's easy. And since, you know, like I'm not at work today, it would just be easier and it's better. Like whenever you don't work, you don't have to cook or nothing. It's like a actual like, like mini vacation, you know, day off. So I didn't want to cook. He didn't want to cook so we're like let's just get Popeyes so that's what we did so 20 40 50 so I'm stuffing my 50 and so this is what's left over from his 50 so five six seven eight nine so we have 59 dollars left and I don't think we plan on cooking anything like too crazy this week we already have like tons of different meats so we're good to go there So let's just put 59 and then gas has I think 20 something still so this is this 50 is gonna go to manifestation um that's from last week we only spent $50 last week 10 15 21 2 so 22 and gas I'm hoping to stuff my manifestation binder today all of it like all the money is mainly gonna go to wedding anyway but i still want to stuff it everything else is empty all right so let's go ahead and move on into sinking funds okay so we're gonna stuff 20 in vacation, you know, I stuff that faithfully because this is gonna be my bachelorette money. And so I need to make sure I'm on point with that. I honestly feel like with my wedding, everything is just gonna come like rushing and like towards me because I feel like already everything is coming up so quick. I think I found me an officiant. So I'm so excited about it because I wasn't really sure I was going to get the pastor of our church but to be honest I have not been to church in years and I don't really know this pastor like that um but I went to school with a guy that was my friend in school um we kind of talk here and there very rarely I mainly talk to his wife now which I knew her from school as well since I was a kid actually and he's a pastor now and I'm like this is so perfect because I actually have like sort of a, a relationship with this person and so having someone that you actually know officiate you know your wedding it's just I feel like it's so much better and he's willing to do it so I'm so excited about it I don't know I feel like everything is coming together and I love it. I'm just loving this. It's not as stressful as I thought it would be. But it is it's stressful like at certain points. But for the most part, it's going pretty smoothly. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, 40, 50, 6, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, and 68. So 6, 68. And then, y'all, I picked like, of course, my sister is my maid of honor. But I also picked one of my really good friends as a maid of honor as well so I have two maid of honors y'all and it's just so perfect to me because I felt the need to pick two because I thought it would be good to have of course my sister as my maid of honor but then like somebody from my friend group be my maid of honor as well and so that way it would be a little bit better of a communication since my sister doesn't really know my friends like that and it's just so perfect I feel like I chose like the perfect people to be in my wedding like I just I'm I love it so much like this is a really good experience and I can't wait till one of my friends get married and hopefully they let me be in their wedding if not I don't mind being a guest 
but I can't wait to be like on the other side of this so that I can go and support my friends as well in their, you know, on their journey as well as whether it's getting married or getting another degree, having a child, whatever. I just can't wait to be on the other side of one of their accomplishments, one of their life accomplishments. So savings has 5, 10, 15, 16. So 16 in savings. I don't know. I'm chatting today, y'all. Car maintenance is not getting anything. I'll start back stuffing it next week. I actually need to make an appointment for an oil change ASAP. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 5, 10, 15. So 115. Vacation is not going to get anything. Vacation has 20, 40, 45, 50. So $50 in vacation. And I actually already got my fiance what I wanted to get him for his birthday. I'll tell y'all after the fact, just in case he watches these videos. So I already got him it. So some of that money, like vacation, hopefully I can start back stuffing that. If I don't, I'll probably stuff his money in birthday. And that is where I will pull from whatever little other goodies that I'm going to get him. So manifest. 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 71. So 71. And I'm actually going to go ahead and just take it out because I'm going to stuff my manifestation finder today. Month ahead, it's going to get $5. So 1, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So 149 in month ahead. Little by little, I'm not really pressed on getting a month ahead on my bills or anything. Wedding is going to get $10. And I'm going to pull this money out as well. So, 5, 10. I ran out of $10 bills. So, 1, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So, 170. Put this off to the side. Baby Maggie is not going to get anything. And she has... Let's see, 5, 10, 15. 15, so let's take that out. And then Waterbill is going to get my last $22. So 21 and 2, and I'll give that to my mom when she gets back from vacation. Y'all, my mom went on a cruise without me. Like, what? Okay, like, I'm, I'm just, like, baffled. Like, why would you leave me when you know you could have took me along with you? <laughs> All right, besties, so that is pretty much it for today's cash stuffing. Thank you all so, so, so much for joining me for another cash stuffing video. I'm so thankful and grateful for you all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends all about my channel. Tell them to come on over here, budget with us, chat with us a little bit. Go check out my website, magnoliabudgets.com. Go check out my Etsy shop as well. It is linked down below in the description box. I'm sure there's something over there that you will love, and I will catch you guys in my next video. All right, bye.